His talk proved priceless to members of Wolverhampton Decorative and Fine Arts Society and with an added dose of humour. Popular antiques roadshow expert Eric Knowles was invited to Linden House in Tettenhall as guest speaker. I'm here because um, I am a new uh, NADFAS lecturer and for the benefit of the viewer, a NADFAS is the National Association of Decorative and Fine Art Societies. So they're all basically culture vultures. And I've been invited along to give a talk on William Moorcroft and his legacy. And the antiquarian from Nelson in Burnley is no stranger to Wolverhampton. I don't mind telling you, as a teenager, I used to come to an all-night discotheque in this part of the world. Um, it was called the Catacombs. It was in the days of Northern Seoul, etc. And all I can tell you is that when you come from Nelson and Burnley, Wolverhampton is exotic. Okay. The Wolverhampton Society is part of the National Association of Decorative and Fine Arts, which is an arts-based charity helping in developing arts, education, preservation and appreciation of artistic heritage. I've now moved um, as a consultant to a firm called Druitts. Well, it's actually the Druitt Fine Art Group. Um, and we have just handled a sale um, of a man called William Hodson. And Hodson had, had lived at Compton Hall. And he had kitted out Compton Hall with lots of wonderful arts and crafts, William Morris, uh, paintings by William Strang, uh, and on top of that, Arthur Gaskin and, and jewellery, etc. Um, and this is basically a family collection that has just been released onto the market. We've just sold the, the pictures and the rugs and, and the carpets, and, and it, it, you know, it, it made phenomenal money. I suppose the most expensive thing I've ever found was a, a cat bowl. Um, it was in blue and white porcelain, and um, it dated to about 1480, uh, and it was Chinese, and it was Ming. Uh, but they were using it as a cat bowl, and it made, um, well, it made over 900,000 pounds, which was a bit... It was a bit of an irritation, really, because if, if it hadn't been for the chip, it would have made one and a half million. Um, so I don't know um, exactly if they're living in the same house, um, but you can bet your life that that cat has now got a diamond collar.